Uh, when we get out there and after we get done with our copper experiment, I will be pressure checking them and then I will be cutting your fittings apart. Okay, by looking at the inside of this fitting and the pipe, you can tell there wasn't much solder on it. Uh, a couple things can cause this. One, not sanding the pipe and the fitting. Number two, if you keep the heat in the same spot too long, it makes the flux boil. What makes a bubble? Pressure, right? So as soon as that bubble pops, it throws all the solder away from that area. And also, you're burning up all the flux in that area. So again, this is what we're going to be looking for. And what is the difference between soldering and, and brazing? Well, brazing is just a term that's used for copper. If you were doing the same application on steel, it'd be called welding. Soldering is where you're using an alternative material that has a lower melting point than the two metals you're trying to join together, which solder does. Now, if you braze, you're using copper sticks like this one right here. The two fittings you're putting together and the rod all have the same melting point. So that's why you don't have to have flux. Also, that's also why you'll never burn up a brazed fitting. But there is one time that you might have to use flux if you're brazing. Cast fitting versus a tube drawn fitting. If I'm brazing against this one, no problem. I can use my sill floss sticks on it. If I try to braze against this one, the fitting will crack and also that the brazing rod won't stick to it unless I use a neutralizing flux. Or I use a brazing rod that has that neutralizing flux in it. Because there's a certain amount of impurities in here that are released when you heat the pipe up. That in turn throws everything away from the pipe. Okay guys, everybody's going to need a fitting brush to start with. Get your fitting brush out here. If you have your copper, guys, come on over and tell me what fittings you need, and I'll give you your solder and your fittings. Okay, everybody has your torch tips. Okay, you're going to find the single regulator up on the panel here. Make sure it's turned off all the way to the right. Okay, your acetylene is live. Turn your regulator on, light your torch just for a second so I can set the master bottle. Yeah, everybody's live. Hey guys, anytime you're soldering, you always want to try to make a hook on the end of your solder. That way you're feeding the solder into the fitting as opposed to just scraping it along the outside. Make sure everything's reamed, make sure everything's sanded.